Check out how you can grind your Slayer tasks in style by using the same RGB LEDs that I use. Links in the description below. What's up everybody, it's Kramer. Welcome to the Ice Warrior Wilderness Slayer Guide. If you like the video or it helps you out, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments about how I could improve the videos, let me know in the comments below. I would appreciate it if you guys did that. So a few things about the task to start off. First of all, should you be doing this task? Well, if you're doing Wilderness Slayer, you probably want easy points, so you don't want to be skipping a ton of tasks. It's also worth noting that this is not a particularly good or bad task. You're not going to be getting good base level drops, although you could be getting Laren's Keys, for example. And it's not a super dangerous task, even though it is deep in the wilderness. It's not in a multi-zone, and it's easy to attack a, an Ice Warrior and get a PKer off of you. It's also worth noting that you should be cannoning this task unless you're using a crossbow. So let's get into locations. So there's only two locations and they're both in the frozen waste plateau which again is deep in the wilderness as you can see on the map here. However our spot is going to be in the southern frozen waste plateau and we're going to be using a cannon save spot. The most direct and best way to get there is using a Gorok teleport tab but if you don't have ancients unlocked or you don't feel like buying a teleport tab for some reason, you can simply use a burning amulet to the lava maze and run west. It won't take much longer. So now I'm going to go over a few armor setups. Um, the only real difference is that with a high level armor setup, I would simply recommend using a crossbow if you can afford it and you want to get this task done quickly. But for medium and low level players, um, something like full dehyde with a slayer helm and a rune crossbow will be totally fine, or a dragon crossbow, or even a magic shortbow imbued, although this isn't quite as recommended because you do want to have some range when you're killing these guys because they will spread out quite a bit. When it comes to inventory, there are a few things that you do want to keep in mind. First of all, you do want to bring a decent amount of cannonballs. Cannonballs aren't terribly expensive, so Bringing something like a thousand cannonballs is totally okay in my book, especially since you usually get a lot of ice warriors when you're doing this task, and you won't have a ton of loot on you most likely, so you will want to probably stay out there for a while. Next you have the option to bring a few stamina potions. This is helpful because again, they do get spread out, and this way you can track them down and do extra damage while you're killing them. Though this is not required, you could take a more lazy approach. Next is a burning amulet or simply a teleport, you know, how we're going to get there. So that could be a teleport tab, like I said earlier. Next is gonna be a teleport out. So you don't wanna forget this. You want something like a, a royal seed pod or charged dragonstone jewelry, like a ring of wealth or amulet of glory. Next are range potions to speed up your task. Next is a looting bag. As I mentioned earlier, you, you aren't going to be getting a ton of good drops while doing this task, so it's not required. There are a few stackable items that you could simply drop a piece of food for, but Looting bags are fairly cheap to get another one, so go ahead and bring one if you want. When it comes to killing these guys, as I mentioned, you do want to stick to this certain safe spot. Whether you have a crossbow or a cannon, this is a simply a good place to be. One thing worth noting is that if you don't mind getting defensive experience, so if you're not a peer for example, using a crossbow <clears throat> with long ranged on is slightly helpful for reaching some of these southern ice warriors when they are running away and doing some extra damage. Again, we can utilize our extra stamina potions to run around if you did decide to bring them, but not a huge deal if you did not. This task will take a bit longer though. So when it comes to getting out of here when you're done with your task, you could simply run east a bit and use the obelisk. However, if you don't want to do that, you could run south, but it is worth mentioning that that is a bit of a PK hotspot, especially if you're playing at a more popular time. So do be careful when you're running south by the chaos altar. But other than that, that is going to wrap up the video. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, please drop it a like. And if you want to upgrade your gaming setup and support the channel, you could check out moslights.com and see how you could upgrade your gaming setup when it comes to either light projectors or my favorite RGB LEDs. Take it easy, guys, and thanks for watching. Check out how you can upgrade your gaming setup with light projectors, LEDs, and other accessories by using the links below.